Yes, good, doesn't it? Faith joining really us now. Good. All right, Rippers. All right. <laughs> Lovely to see you. Hello. It's so good to see you. Oh, the dream team. Oh. <laughs> the I'm dream with guest. The dream Friday team. team. The dream guest. Um, <laughs> this looks good. Tell us about it. It's, it's just, do you know what? This was such an easy one to do in the sense of to want to do because yeah. it's a an independent British film full of heart, really funny, sort of fly on the wall yeah. documentary style. And it's just, it's joyous. And there's also like a bit of a plot as well that pulls you along with it, bits of hot fuzzy, you know, bit like that. And it's really rare that we ha we allow small films to come through and get cinema releases sure. and Feels lovely, for us it? to go to and go to with the family or whatever. It's great. I, I, you know, it was a real treat to we be just, involved. Yeah. We got down Hot Fuzz Meets This Country. Would that be accurate? That's about right. That's great. Yeah, I mean, it's basically a sort of a whodunit with courgettes. <laughs> it's, because basically, I mean, there is a reason why there's little Big courgettes. It's, it's about... <laughs> Uh, big vegetable growers. Not like they're not big, but yeah. the vegetables are big, yeah. you know? So the competitive vegetable growing kind of. Co that so niche what, world. What is <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's been there. You know what's why the, they wanted to the make plot? a film. What's the So Joe Hartley's obviously. Jo the they're amazing cast, yeah. So you've got Joe Hartley, who's fantastic, and you've got Richard Lumsden, and you've got Kellen Jones, and then Ashling B comes in. And there's lots, it's a big sort of ensemble of the likes of us that sort of pop in, yeah. do a bit, something a bit mad. Um, and um, actually, it's quite complicated, so don't ask me the plot, <laughs> is my main well, thought. I, I go and watch it, definitely. Um, but I think Is it Joe's maybe, Marrow Goes Missing? Is that basically... Yes, I or, think. I don't want to give anything away, but I think maybe I did it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wasn't asking you that. I feel like you... Is that a spoiler? You are selling this. Give it away, yeah. give it you away. You are selling this. You're playing Linda Blue. Is that who you're playing? Linda, So yes. tell us about Linda, because I know there's a lot of ad-lib in this, isn't there? Which is, like, your forte. It's got to be. I, it's great. You don't have to learn your lines. <laughs> so, Just rock oh. quick. Um, Do they but... give you, like, a little format and say, well, I'll try and follow this? Yes. Map. I've actually done quite a lot of filming without script, but there was a script. Let me say, there was a very good script. And uh, But every now and then you were allowed to sort of slightly merge between yourself and the, and the actual words on the page. But basically, my character is sort of in love with Joe Hartley's character because it's all about these big vegetable growers and the competition of it, yeah. to be honest. Like, people really care. I'm going to say... Don't, don't like get on my back, but maybe unnecessarily care about some of these things in life. And it's, but it's their world, it's everything, yeah. you know. And um, so, anyway, I think we've got some real I mean, vegetable growers in. I, I want to watch this. Fact. Yeah. I, well, I think we've got a clip without giving too much away that, that you've already given away. I've already let's, given it away, <laughs> anyway. Just for the sake of yeah. argument, let's take a look. <laughs> it meant a lot to Tony to break the record last year for biggest leak. Another round of applause for Tony Knight, ladies and gentlemen. He's not a big shower of emotion, our Tony. I like to say that he's a grower, not a shower. But I don't mean anything cheeky, mind. <laughs> don't touch, don't touch, don't touch. Don't touch, please, thank you. Bombridge and Tony, they are very much the Muhammad Ali and Cassius Clay of the big veg world. Big rivals. Oh, yeah. it looks so good. It, it looks it's so cute. good. It's I really think the cute. question on everyone's lips is, yes. are you green-fingered? Um, OK, I've just... I've just been... No. <laughs> I'm sort of... <laughs> I'm doing that... <laughs> yeah. blah, blah, blah. I'm not. I leave it to my husband, and he then seems to spend a fortune on growing vegetables. We've got a tiny little trough at the end yeah. of our garden. And I every now and then go down there and it's just mud. <laughs> and then there is a point in the sort of spring summer where I go down there and it's full, like a full crop. So it's good. Uh, so it's good. Yeah, until I worked out what he's been doing. What's he been doing? He goes to Waitrose and he buys it. <laughs> he just bought a load of lettuce and just put it on the top. <laughs> And it's just, and then sort of went to like, I'm just going to go and pick a lettuce. I'm like, <laughs> you literally just bought that at Waitrose. So, so he yeah. makes it look beautiful. Yeah. Like it says, oh, this is my vegetable. Pack. Yeah, for the barbecue. That's I love hilarious. your husband. That's yeah. brilliant. That is so... I worked it out. I've only just worked out what he's been doing. <laughs> now, listen, we're all a bit full, but we've, we've always got room for more because you brought cake in. So you, you, yes. you love baking, don't you? You're absolutely incredible at baking. Well, so I've heard. I 
like to think that with three cookbooks to my name, <laughs> I can <laughs> bake. Um, admittedly, mine doesn't look as good as the one you ate earlier, which looked incredible. So what did you make this yesterday? Um, I did. I made this because, oh. obviously, I'm a big fan of the Bake Off oh. and... Um, did you see Dermot win? Oh, yes, you so did! That was the, the answer. Bake -off. No, you did, that's <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. now I'm slightly scared. Oh, God, don't worry. Well, basically, I'm, I sort of want... I'm not so interested in the Hollywood pan shape, but I yeah. am interested in the ham and high five <laughs> or the O'Leary well, let's have a look. Oh. So, well, let's um, have a look. Let's have a look. So I'm very see. excited. I am worried that mine isn't slipping <laughs> off the plate. But anyway, don't... Well, you worry. made it yesterday. It's extraordinary you haven't been either on or judging Bake Off. It just seems... Well, OK. Two things to say. <laughs> it is extraordinary that I'm not the main judge. Yes. I agree. Correct. This is very much the gig I'm after. Yeah, well, you never will make um, And uh, the reason I've not been on is because I feel... Because I write, I'm a food writer as yeah. well, I can't lose, mm. you see? It's all right well, That's for the you. pressure of it, really, if you go on, because it's not your kitchen. Yeah. It's quite difficult. Do you mean when you're not in your own bit. kitchen, it's but very difficult to bake? This is lemon and pistachio. Are we going to... We're going to share. We'll share. Are you going to share? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, out of time. The key to this recipe, apart from the fact that it's, can we confirm, delicious? 100%. Yeah. Oh, no. Are you actually joking? I'm only joking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm... It's the O'Leary innovation. <laughs> High five. Yes. Well High done. Five. Thank uh, you. <laughs> anyway, it's an all bung it in it. And, and it comes out Ooh, like that. So. Sweet Caroline is mm. in cinemas now. It'll be mm. out in the um, streaming, I think, the sky later on in the year. Faye, thank you. Well, oh, John, thank you for championing independence. Thank cinema. you, and thank you. And it's great Let's to get everyone pop. along to, to see a good British film. Thanks, Faye. Yes.